it's After Show Reacts here and today I'm going to be watching some more Firefly. This is episode... I never know the episode. I think it's seven. Yes, it's seven. And it's titled Jamestown. Uh, so from what I've gathered, this is like kind of a fan favorite. A lot of people have said, I can't wait for this episode. So yeah. And in true Joss Whedon fashion, normally in like the seventh episode, I've noticed of like every season, like both Buffy and Angel have been like quite plot heavy, quite good. Um, Buffy had one small feeling, and then I think the one before that was like Spike's backstory, Full for Love. Then you had like Offspring on Angel, and was it Dala? I think so. Wow, that's so long ago, I can't even, like, remember properly. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I assume that this is going to be a, a very good episode. My, um, expectations are high. Uh, so let's get into it. No, also, I apologize for the fan. No, I won't, because it's not. I use swear words like anybody else. Oh, really? See, I never heard you. So when is it that you do all this cussing after I go to bed? Or I swear but when it's appropriate. Simon. Hold on. She's like, what? <laughs> I just need to, I just, I, like two episodes ago, he was cussing about uh, Serenity and called Serenity some name and she got offended by it and now she's like I never hear you swear <sighs> what and the whole point of swearing is that it ain't appropriate oh listen man I was in Ken a few years back I might have made me a few enemies thereabouts enemies you no how can it be still like the idea of going in there empty-handed is all why are you still arguing what's been decided <laughs> sure. Go on. I'm a shepherd after all. I should be able to keep my eye on a flock of what? Yeah, but you're also something else. I'm not going that far, Doctor, and you might maybe make yourself useful. Come again? The management here don't take too kindly to sites, yes, which is why we're posing as buyers. There ain't a one of us that looks apart more than the good doctor. I mean, the pretty He's face. such a weirdo! Soft hands, definitely a moneyed individual. <laughs> all rich and lily white, pasty all over. All right. Fine. I'll go. Just stop describing me. You're the boss. Boss. He's the boss now. Day keeps getting better and better. There is. Where are we supposed to be anyway? You haven't been here in years, Jay. You really think you need that get up? No one's going to remember you. I think it's possible they might. Oh. <laughs> what did you do? Son of a bitch. I was here a few years back, like I said. Pull a second story, there's still a lot of scratch from the magistrate up on the hill. The things went way south. I had to hightail it. They don't put you on a pedestal in town square for that. Yeah, except I'm looking at some fair compelling evidence, as they do. This must be what going mad feels like. I think they captured him, though, you know. Captured his essence. He looks sort of angry, don't he? That's kind of what I meant. Chief four on duty. Chief four on duty. Oh, hey, I got an idea. Instead of us hanging around playing art critic, until I get pinched by the man. How's about we move away from this eerie ass piece of work and get on with our creasingly eerie ass day? How's that? I don't know. This year's a spectacle might warrant a moment's consideration. Everywhere I go, his eyes keep following me. <laughs> Come on, Gorilla. We got a job. Let's go do it. Get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. They call it mother's milk. Come on. All the protein, vitamins, and carbs of your grandma's best turkey dinner. 
plus 15% alcohol. It's horrific. It worked for the Egyptians. Yeah. What's that? From the ancient Egyptians. Back on Earth, it was. Not so different from the ancestral form of beer they fed the slaves to build their pyramids. It's liquid bread. Kept them from starving and knocked them out at night so they wouldn't be inclined to insurrection. Wow, Simon, that was so... Historical. <laughs> Now, what's a gussy up fellow like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> Shake your head, boy. Your eyes are stuck. Get! Jane. Yes, come on. The man they call Jane. He robbed from the rich and he they the think it's Robin Hood? He gave him what for our love for and now ain't hard to explain. The hero of Canton, the man they call Jane. What did you do? He said, you can't do that to my people. He uh, said, can't crush them Jane? under your heels. Yeah, Mel. You got any light you'd like to shed on this development? No, Mel. No, this must be what going mad feels like. <laughs> now, here is what separates heroes from common folk like you and I. And they him? Jane, he turned around his plane and let James that money that... hit the sky. Is that good? Go over here. That's where that cash went. I stole that money from Higgins, like the song says. Lifted me one of his hovercraft. But I got tagged by anti aircraft. Started losing altitude. Had to dump them strong boxes. Stay airborne. Oh. Sixty thousand. I'm Trace Amal. And I drop it right square in the middle of Mud Farmer Central. Oh. We gotta go to the crappy town where I'm a hero. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I tore these out of your symbol and they turned into paper. But I want to put them back, so. Oh, sorry. What's that? <laughs> River? River, come back! What the hell did you stick it up? Whoa. <laughs> Captain, now they're off the subject to me, shouldn't we be getting the hell out of here? I'd say that's a reasonable request given the circumstances. Rotten mutters. Drinking that sung man, yeah. He drinks the best whiskey in the house. He's gonna take advantage of this. What's going on? This how people lay low where you're from? Not generally, no. Listen, friend, I came here to make sure a deal went down solid. Not to get chopped up by the Canton Prague crew and fed to the bog. I understand your concerns, friend. This here's all part of our new plan. I'm sure you can appreciate it. What is this? I brought you here to bed, my son, not throw a tea party. Sir, a companion greeting ceremony is a ritual with centuries of tradition. My son is 26 years old, and he ain't yet a man. 26. And since he can't Sir? find a will and a Mr. woman Higgins, himself... you're not allowed here. What? As I've said, this room is a consecrated place of union. Only your son belongs here. Wow. Well. I'm... Now, why don't you go on and let us begin our work? No, listen here, young lady. Good night, Mr. Higgins. Oh my god, pushing him to do it? Like, that is it's so a bit more fun. peaceful. Will you sit? The Jane! The Jane! I swear, if he turns out to be gay. <laughs> 
And you're pretty. Pretty. What did you just say? Just say that you're pretty. Even when you're covered in engine grease, you're nice. No, especially, especially when you're covered in engine grease. It's time to get out of this nut house. You have to out. ruin the environment, don't you, Mal? Things are going so well. I suppose. Jane's certainly feeling better about life, but I don't really matter. Things are going well. Oh, well. Well, I tell you what. Jane is stuck here with his adoring masses. Why don't you and Simon hang around and keep an eye on him for me? The ceiling will cave in. His brains are in terrible danger. River? Please, why don't you come on out? No, can't. Too much hair. Is, is that it? <laughs> Hell yes, preacher. If I didn't have stuff to get done, I'd be in there with her. It's the rules of my order. Like the book. It symbolizes... Uh -huh. how... River, honey. He's putting the hair away now. It doesn't matter. We'll still be there, waiting. Hey, we're home. Where you guys been? Mount Bernoulli's shopping at the bank. It's not embarrassing to be a virgin. It's simply one state of being. As far as bringing me here, companions choose the people they're to be with very carefully. For example, if your father had asked me to come here for him, I wouldn't have. <gasps> really? Really, Fess. But you're different from him. The more you accept that, the stronger you'll become. <laughs> and then, when we put that statue of you in Town Square, he rolled in, wanted to tear it down, but the whole town rioted. You guys had a riot? On account of me? My very own riot. I can't believe you're back. How can I stay away? <laughs> I'm glad to play Higgins. My son's out there. I pray to God losing his cherry. There's a problem in Worker Town, sir. Why are you praying? Like, what the Jane hell? Cobb's come back. Why are you so into your, like, son's virginity issues? It's not an issue, okay? Like, whatever. Hey, Captain. Captain. Hey. Mel. Mel, I, uh... Uh, no, no, no nothing happened. Oh, there was a, uh, there was, there was some drinking, but uh, we, no, we, we certainly didn't. No, I would never, not with Kaylee. What do you mean, not with me? Yeah, uh huh. Where's my hero? Our love for me now ain't hard to explain. The hero of Canton, and they call me. Eggs. The living legend needs eggs. Or maybe another milk. No, living legend needs to come with us. He's got a little appearance to make. He does? That's right. This job here's gone way past long enough. Hmm. All right, well, you go on now. I got me important hero type stuff to do. Where are you going? I'm going with you. Mm, I don't think so. No, maybe you ought to stay here. It's about the time for a civilized person to have his breakfast. That's the sort of thing would be appropriate, don't you think? Aren't they supposed to be a man now? A man is just a boy who's old enough to ask that question. You were a man before. In our time together, it's a ritual, a symbol. It means something to your father. I hope it was not entirely forgettable for you. Well, no, it was. But it doesn't make you a man. 
You do that yourself. In the moment. That's where the little Jane celebration we got planned comes in. Should give us enough time to get the goods back in Serenity. I don't know. You think we should be using my fame to hoodwink folks? You better laugh when you say that. No, really, Mal. Ah, uh, you hoodwink people to get fame. To this, the mothers. I think I really made a difference in their lives. Oh, me, Jane Cobb. I know your name, Jackass. You know they threw a riot on my account. A riot. Morning, kids. Is that Jane? Is that really him? Wash, pinch me. I must be dreaming. Oh, hell, I'll pinch you. Just get on over to Town Square, Jane. Your parents are waiting. Well, he's back. Apparently, he landed here yesterday. Yesterday? Oh, no. She gonna think it's Mal. I, I know this man. He's... He just has this idiotic sense of nobility, you know? He can never just let things go. He thinks he's this hard-hearted criminal, and he can be unrelenting. But there's a side to him that's just so... You mean you actually know Jane? Jane? Jane Cobb? You're talking about Jane Cobb? Yes, Jane Cobb, the hero of Canton. The only person I ever saw who stood up to my father. I don't know. My dad had him traced back to his ship. He had port control, put a landlock on it. Jane will get back and find out that he's grounded. I sort of hate the idea of his getting caught. Listen, sir, I don't know who. Can you not? Sir, look at me, you panty waist idiot. I just spent the last four years steaming in a hot box, and you're sir and me? Can I just rip your beard off and feed it to Folks you? Folks say you're part of Jane's team. So, where is that no good reptile? Hide yourself. Tell me, boy, I'll cut off every last bit of them good looks. Oh, not done yet, youngin'. That's gonna cost you an eye. As far as I see it, you people have been given the shortest end of the stick ever been offered a human soul in this crap hill verse. But you took that end. And you... Well, you took it. And that's... Well, I guess that's something. Ever the motivational speaker. That didn't sound half bad. I'm shocked my own self. Butcher me one of your boys. You ain't a one of mine. Where you been hiding? You gonna got yourself looking mighty hideous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, he's right. Jane is. Back we used to work together, he and I. Uh, don't you dare aim your gun don't you at just mouth. let old Stitch speak his piece? Go on, then. Whole lot of money in a magistrate safe, weren't they, Jane? Got away clean, too. But then our plane took a hit, and we're going down. We dumped the fuel reserve, dumped the life support. Hell, we even dumped the seats. And there's Jane, the money, and me. There was no way he was going to drop that money. He did. He dropped it on the mothers. My yeah. accident, yeah. you inbred dunghead. He tossed me out first. For six months, we run together. He turned me out before I could scream. You'd have done the same. No, never. You protect the man you're with. You walk his back. Everybody knows that. Hell, except the hero of Canton. You get to talk me to death, buddy. Is that the plan? This is the plan. <laughs> Oh my god! Hmm. 
James Moss is dead! I'm kidding, I know it's coming. Hello, Wash. Has there been a problem with takeoff? Is there a problem? Is there a problem? No. We're fine. You did what? I set an override to port control. Lifted the landlock on Serenity. Oh, wipe that smile off your head. How dare you defy me? You, you wanted to make a man out of me, Dad. I guess it worked. I mean, you like me well enough, and we get along, and, and then you go all stiff. I, I'm not, um, I didn't. See, you're doing it right now. What's so damn important about being proper? It don't mean nothing out here in the black. It means more out here. That's all I have. I mean, my way of being polite, or however it's, was well, the only way I have of showing you that I like you. Of showing respect. So when we made love last night. When we what? You really are such an easy mark. to me so it's my estimation that every man ever got a statue made of him it was one kind of some bitch or another and about you jane it's about what they need Episode 7 of Firefly, titled Jamestown. Uh, pretty decent episode. Um, I mean, I guess I had higher expectations than I should have. Don't set up expectations for me because then I get a little bit let down like I am at the moment. Um, like it was, like it was a decent episode but it wasn't like as good as everyone said it was going to be. So I don't see, you see the problem here. Um, I am starting to like Jane a lot more. I really didn't like him to begin with. Um, I don't know how I feel about the whole, like, uh, the whole Kaylee and Simon thing. I don't know. I think Simon's a bit boring, if I'm completely honest. But Kaylee's adorable, so I, I don't know. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, 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 uh.